Welcome to Price Talk, this is Mike, and it's time for yet another clear way isolate flavor review from my protein. I've done like five or six of these, and I love some of these flavors. I love the dragon fruit and the wild strawberry, really good, but today, we have, it's possibly a seasonal flavor here. We're in October of 2020. I'm not sure if this one's gonna be around forever. We have blood orange. Brad, give me some pitch shift on that a little bit. Give me some blood orange. Because this is a, like it's supposed to be a strong, powerful, deep, I don't know if you've ever had blood orange is a real thing. And uh, the flavor is really, it's an intense orange flavor. Not as sour, it's just, it's a bold flavor. And uh, what's cool about these clear whey uh, proteins is that it's like from a new hydrolyzed whey protein isolate that uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, settle clear necessarily, but more like translucent because this is gonna have some color to it. And in fact, the color is natural. It comes from paprika here. And um, we have 80 calories, 20 grams of protein, and there's gonna be like one or less than one gram of, of carbon in this one, but most of the others have zero carbs. This one, um, it must come with the flavor system. And so I am very excited to try these. This has been a hot thing. Now, a lot of times we hype these up for the summer. Right now, well, as you can see, it's kind of sunny out, but it's getting a little colder out. But that's why I live down here in Texas. No offense to my Cleveland friends who see gray skies for six months out of the year. I, I can't do it. I like my sunshine. And when it's nice and sunny out, we like a nice, smooth, refreshing beverage. And not always like a dank, thick, chocolatey milkshake. So, blood orange. Now the powder is clear. Now all these clear weight isolates, um, it smells like candy. It doesn't smell, I don't smell any orange. It smells, it smells good. What is that? That's gonna kill me. It's like, it almost sounds like, and it's like completely unrelated. It smells like a bag of Sour Patch Kids or something like that. It's, I like that. But um, where was I at? So yeah, the, the, these kind of like, kind of like a dusty type of texture and everything. Now here's where we learned in the last video, and it's gonna be way too long to figure this out. They say, and these take a long time to settle. So um, you have to add one scoop to 10 to 12 ounces of water. That's a good idea but it's not as good of an idea, it's not as great of an idea as using 16 to 18, 18 ounces of water. I prefer to make these a lot thinner. And so for post-workout, you might as well get your hydration on as well. And so I'm cheating, I'm not even reviewing this flavor. I don't even know if my protein knows I'm reviewing this. Oh yeah, this product was sent for free though. Uh, they sent a whole lot of stuff. This was sent for free. A lot of times I do buy uh, the various products, but this time it was sent for free and we have a Plow40 affiliate coupon code. So there is an affiliate business partnership here. Understand the disclaimer was sent, but I'm cheating on this review because I'm going with 16 ounces. I, I got Galaxy Cat. I'm going with 16, like almost 17 ounces of water here because I found that I like them thinner. And I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. So, making a bit of a mess here. Now I'm gonna shake it up. So a lot of these, they foam up a lot and you have to wait for the foam. It says 15, 30 seconds to wait for the foam, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. It takes time. You're not gonna be able to see that as well with the shaker, but I do have a glass I'm gonna pour it into. And I can just tell like the foam is the foam has filled up the shaker. So that's the problem with using more water. And so we've already like kind of derailed in terms of, of, of doing a proper style review. But I know how when it finally settles, I know that I like the taste of these with more water. And so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And so there it is, paprika, one of my favorite spices as a natural coloring here. And that actually is not foaming too bad. Actually, I think this is the best strategy. Look at that, that's, you can hear it, can you hear it? Oh, that smells good, that smells like, it smells like good orange juice. Getting some ice chunks in. Very good. I'm telling you folks, more water is better. It's So with blood orange, you, you typically expect the color to be darker. This is a natural coloring. So we, we take what we get without having to put in like fake red 40 and stuff. I'm happy with that. Blood orange is typically, this is more of a smooth orange flavor. If I, in fact, my protein could, could change this to just smooth orange and keep it. There's a little bit of power into it, but not as much power as some of like the blood orange BCAs I've had in the past are. Oh, I like that. I don't even like orange that much. It's just a smooth orange. It's like they took all the stuff that I like in orange and they took the nasty, like stab you in the back of your throat, 
bitter citrus part of the orange that I don't like and I took that out and it's like what I'm left with is almost almost an orange creamsicle but it's like a little it's a little different than that and you can see some of the coloring dots here on the wall here mix that in there I'll take natural colors over red 40 any day of the week so and other than that we have uh, it is sucralose based a little bit of silicon dioxide and ace k so two of the uh, artificial sweeteners but man yeah this is a good it's more it's more smooth and orange creamsicle than I expected. I was expecting something like super bold and powerful and is strong of a flavor, but I think that it's like half blood orange, half orange creamsicle, not full blood orange. And I'm, I, I'm totally fine with that because I don't like a lot of citrus when it like really just like, like I said, like scratch it at my throat. I don't know. I maybe have a small sensitivity to it. I don't get that feeling with this. Good flavor system, I keep drinking it. That's what really, I'm, I'm excited. Does it beat dragon fruit and strawberry? Probably not, but it might be up there a third. Wild cherry was really good too. See, I like all these like mainstream fruity flavors. Orange fans, I think will like this, yeah. Okay, if you're looking for the orange flavor and you're like, no, nah, I don't want cherry, I don't want dragon fruit, a lot of people, that's not up by everyone's alley like it is up mine, then yeah, this is definitely a good flavor. Dang. And it, is slowly. You can see it's coming more clear. I can see my fingers through it now. Cool. Well, price.com slash myprotein is where you can sign up for our alerts because we have a lot more stuff coming from them. We just did their snack series. Those nut bars are like gone and demolished those. Super good. Love the wafers. There's the nut bars that I just kept polishing off. And, um, and then Plot 40 is our affiliate coupon code. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and we will show you a little bit more fun stuff. Ben and Heather are always doing cool stuff too. So check them out on Instagram at PricePal. We'll see you later. Welcome to PricePal.